there is all you've known While you hide your shoulders from the cold Green and berry, that's what you're shown You read it all in the story that's been bought and sold Monica really buy you nothing Oh, the fool and his money I easily part it Never say that don't be that stone Take French leave and I'm drunk overseas No wonder hear me and my lungs quietly Like a thoroughbred, I'm a gentleman Looking for a brand new ride the river when Cause morning can't really buy you nothing The fool and his money I easily put in Never say that and stay inside Don't need a do What you guys doing? What's that smile on your face for, Griff? <laughs> Just put you on the spot. We're eating some tasty beer ox. It's the only place in town that has delicious beer ox. They've been there for like... You're dropping some. 50 years. I'll get it later. It's, it's worth picking up and eating off the ground. <laughs> I've been there like 50 years. Same recipe, same everything. It's fantastic. It's drive-in only, so you wouldn't want to go in the building. I have no idea what it would look like inside. It looks pretty bad. <laughs> but they're the tastiest things ever. <laughs> Rich has one too. Rich has his 1969 Honda right here. You just picked up as a side project. But today, we're getting started on Zep 5. Mini school bus roof raise. Got all the sides off. I still have one ceiling panel I need to get done. Had to remove the AC and everything so that AC. Got that done late last night. Now I'm about to go through with the air hammer, get the rest of these rivets off, rip this thing down, rip off this back bulkhead, start cutting on this thing. So the transition is gonna start from this area back. I got a little bit of a floor plan figured out. I can show you that later. I had the seat in here where I just had my tape measure and I would sit on the seat, draft on the, uh, the seat there, look around, put tape down, try and figure out which parts what I needed and I think I got a pretty decent floor plan figured out like I said I do have that on the computer but I'll show that to you later uh, very excited to get this done as I said before we're gonna do the happy jack bed system here in the back so it'll be an elevator bed little u-shaped couch area kitchenette shower with uh, toilets gonna be a wet bath passenger seat right here and then I'm constructing a storage unit right here it'll be like a closet area it'll have the fridge underneath store the batteries actually i think the water tank will be right here i'm still not sure we're getting everything figured out but it's been a long time coming to cut this thing in half and get started on that so i am very stoked Bye. 
Got the first length of arrays done on the five window. So right now we have the guides in and depending on how the bed platform goes in, that's gonna determine our overall height of the roof rays. So it's gonna have a transition after the first window, we're gonna, you know, sheet metal the whole side, but just for reference. The transition will be here on the second side, so it'll go from the beginning right here up to there. For the bed platform, it's definitely a different type of look. And right now we're trying to put together the happy jack just so we can get a dry fit on it, figure out what height we need, and go from there. So basically, we're, re, we're, we're locating these. Our mattress is going to be 80 inches wide. So we figured um, we put a inch and a quarter piece, or an inch and a half piece of square tubing on hat channels on these to space this out on both sides. And it just happened doing that made it exactly 80 inches from this piece to that piece over there. So that'll fit the mattress perfectly. And then we're going to raise these up as high as we can so we can get the bed height as high you know as tall as to the ceiling as possible and if you can see the bottom edge of this motor looks like it's just at the bottom of here so when this goes up i have to go to here and simulate a motor being there we're actually going to squish the mattress maybe about an inch so that's no big deal just on the corner where that motor is um to make it fit or we can just go up you know not not all the way of course just go eight inches or whatever but I think this will work out perfectly, and they go all the way to the ground. Uh, Suspend it that way makes it go down, so that way it should go down. Yes, you can go here. They do go the they're opposites of each other, so that will work. We can put the bar back in the back corner, have the motor up high, should be good to go. Cool. Yep. So yeah, literally that's all we need to do is, is uh, well, two pieces 